Hello, everybody. My name is Adolf Navarro. Welcome to my little studio. I started using Icon four years ago, when I decided to write my first graphic novel. Icon was affordable, easy to learn, and solved all my needs. It allowed me to create my characters, their clothes, and all the sets I needed for my adventures. Used to the complexity of other 3D animation applications, I was surprised at how fast, intuitive, and powerful Icon was, and it encouraged me to start creating animations. With every new version, Icon has been adding more and more amazing features, allowing now to create animations that few years ago appear attainable only for professional studios. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this cool compositing science fiction sequence that combines CGI with real footage. And all this just using Revolution's Icon Pro 6 and Pop Video Converter 3. Let's do it. Icon allows to use videos as a texture. Dragging and dropping a video file on Icon's work screen while pressing the control key automatically creates a wall showing the video that can be scaled, rotate, or move wherever you want in your project. If I use it for a background, I set its self-illumination feature to 100% and I disable all the shadows on the object, so it will not be affected by the lights of the set. I use websites like TurboSquid or TF3DM to download very nice models that they offer for free. Revolution 3D Exchange allows to import AutoSketch, OBG, FBX or 3DS models that you can refine and export as Icon props. These props can be drag and drop directly on Icon, where I usually change their aspect using its very easy and intuitive materials editor. For this project, I downloaded and tuned the materials of these two cool science fiction buildings. Also, I included these flying ships that will be flying around the city. I wanted to create groups of people chatting and acting in the platforms of the city, but a large number of them would overload the project, so I decided to make the people crowds in separate projects and render them to be used as animated textures. I used the powerful and easy to use animation tools of Icon to animate the characters. Then. I rendered the sequences in Revolution's pop video format. Pop videos include an embedded alpha channel that makes transparent the areas that we have selected, making them very useful to create animated textures for billboards. I also use Revolution's Botanic Pack. It provides extremely accurate 3D models of trees, grass and bushes that can be animated by wind effects on Icon. I created three different vegetation projects, and I rendered them in pop video format too. Next, I filmed my partner Ithara and myself in a homemade green screen, and I load the video on Revolution's Pop Video Converter 3. This application allows to work with high definition video files and includes several tools to create an accurate automatic chroma key mask. You can also paint areas of the original shot if they are not covered in green, as those breaks in the edges of my video. Once properly masked, I saved the sequence in a pop video format as well. Pop video files unveil their power when loaded on Icon, as they allow to create complex environments using just a bunch of polygons. In this way, we can create animated crowds or jungles with just few cubes properly texturized. I put all the elements in place and this was the aspect of my set. I created paths to control my flying ships and the pop video walls did their work allowing me to manage several groups of people in a dense jungle at the base of the city. I included on purpose several complications in the project in order to show you how they can be easily solved using Icon and the generated pop videos. So I made a traveling sequence using another path to move the camera through Ithara and me. If we were not working in a real 3D environment, 
the parallax effect of the different layers on the shot will be extremely hard to accomplish, but here it's automatically done while the camera is moving through the path. I also chose on purpose a background video with heavy changes in its light conditions, with an intense orange light at the beginning moving to a purple tone at the end. Using a video compositing application, matching the color tones in all its layers will have been a nightmare, but I can easily change the lights defined on icon, setting the colors at the beginning and the end of the sequence, just picking on the background video area where I want to take the color from. Icon gradually changes the lights that affect to all the elements on the project, generating their shadows and changing the tones of their colors not just on the props, but what is more important, on the pop video walls too. So, it doesn't matter how the lights of the project change, all the elements contained on the scene will be integrated in the new light conditions. And this is how the final sequence looks. But it doesn't have to end here. You can use video editors or visual effects applications to alter and enhance icon renders, adding volumetric lights, motion blur effects, or whatever you have on your mind. Let's see some examples I have made. And that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope that this brief explanation is going to help you in your future projects. See you and bye bye.